Hello and welcome, this is Papa Sean, and we are looking at Wrath of the Righteous. We're in Winter Sun, and this is going to be the stone puzzle. I've got a character lo located at each of the different stone locations, so if you want to pause the map here, you'll be able to refer back to it. Alright, so what's going to happen is you're going to come to these stones, you're going to go ahead and uh, examine them. They'll have like a 22 lore or something like that, and then you're going to want to move your guys to the cave. So just going through the, the next one, we've got Lan over here at the stone up here at the, uh, looks like midnight noon position. Get that stone, you go ahead and click that. And then again, you're going to want your guys to go to the cave. It doesn't all have to be at the same time. It's, there's going to be monsters around the area that you have to examine them. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of where each one of them is located. All right, so Ember's here on the far west side, just above the exit. And we'll hop her over there as well. So Ivu is going to be in the town. And again, you'll have to likely fight your way through different characters or do different pieces of it. But you'll want to make sure that you visit the stone here as well inside the town. And then uh, finally, we come to uh, Arushale and Darren. Uh, so Rushley is also in the town, but it looks at the very bottom side of the town there at 6 o'clock on your map. And then Darren is located the never probably the closest to the cave. And again, there's going to be bosses, and, or not mini bosses kind of thing, and you know, guys you got to beat along the way. When I say mini bosses, because some of them are you know pretty tough. There's like a, a giant blighted tree that can be kind of a challenge. All right, so all these characters are running in there. Rushley is going to be kind of taking up the, the bottom side of it. So what's the point of these? You can have all these different stones, different caches of loot hidden around the area. Well, we're going to finish up by going into this cave located, again, on the map. It's like on the east side. Rushley is kind of running in there. Can't really zoom in on the map, but we can zoom in here. All right, so once the characters are in position, we'll go ahead and enter into the cave. Come on, Rushley, shake those legs. All right, she's going on in. And we'll just make sure that we're not in turn day so we can run through this pretty quick. Beautiful. All right, so we're heading over to this stone piece right here. This would be the last one that you want to examine. So when you examine this, it's going to come and tell you that uh, if you've read all the admonitions, seek the reward in the heart of the stone. Let's see what we can do. All right, so what's the heart of the stone? We'll run our characters back over to the exit. It's not too far from the exit, actually, when you go outside. But again, you want to make sure that you've tagged every single one of those stones, because it will not work until you do. Once you've gotten all stones, then you can run to the heart of the stone, and that's going to be kind of like in the middle of the map. So it's right around this location here. All right, so what are you looking for on the map? You're looking for these, these stones that kind of like make a little bit of a heart shape. See this little heart? L-shaped, heart-shaped. All right, so you're going to run your party over there. As you can see, they're not very far from the exit of that cave. And once you're in position, you'll have a hand symbol. You would not have had that hand symbol unless you had them all. So what do you get out of this? Let's go take a look. First off, the uh, rune-covered ancient leather scrap. This is going to be a piece that if you find all the fragments, that you can restore it. So a pretty cool, really greater item. Some scrolls of moderate, no big deal there. We'll go ahead and collect those last two pieces. You're going to get a ricochet heavy crossbow. Now let's go ahead and show uh, date, newest to oldest. And so you're going to see uh, that you got that ricochet crossbow I mentioned. This is a plus three keen, cruel enchantment crossbow. It's pretty neat. And then uh, if you have a back rank assistance, if the wearer of this amulet is wielding a ranged weapon, whenever an ally in a 30-foot radius lands an attack of opportunity, the wearer makes a free range attack against the same target. This effect can only occur once per target. It's still pretty powerful. You're getting free damage on attacks of opportunity. Anytime uh, you know somebody within 30 feet lands that attack of opportunity. Great for... Uh, enemies that are coming at your range targets, you'll get a free shot on them. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Please like and subscribe. If it has been, it helps me out greatly. Until next time, happy questing.